Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2024 Ford Mustang from National Car Rental. And this is one of the first ones I've seen. For 2024, they've switched over to Continental tires, same size on the base model. 18-inch rims, 235, I believe 50 series. Take a look at the truck space, pretty much the uh, same as the previous generation here. <clears throat> Also new for 2024 is the struts on the hood, so that prop rod is gone, which is nice. A little bit easier to open. And this is the 2. Point, actually, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a 2.4. I'll make sure to put that put it down in the comments. But it's the turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Torque and horsepower is over 300. quiet and idle. Let's give it a couple of reps, see if we can hear it. Let's take a look at the interior. the new center cluster for the gauges. Sorry, that one's for the driver. This is the center one here. Uh, 
navigation actually looks fantastic on this one here. Uh, from the stereo, there's a center speaker, and then you've got the ones on the pillar, two in the door. Again, this is just the base model. I have to say, the base model audio sounds excellent. No distortion or anything, even if you turn it up a little bit louder. And I believe in some models you can get wireless phone charging down here. Otherwise, you've got USB, USB-C. And some of the models have the drift brake. This one's got an electric handbrake now. And then the console is roughly about the same size. Seats have, uh, the base model seats are actually quite nice. They have this uh, fabric combination. And glove box over there, the two vents in the center. And then here's your control. Some people were noticing that, um, let me just press the Mustang button here. When you press it, it panel kind of moves a little bit, and I noticed that as well. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to address that. Uh, the star button you can program to your favorite features. So something else new in the 2024 is, is the auto hold. So if you come to a brake light with that on, so if you come to a stop light with that on, and you have your foot on the brakes, you can let go of the brake and it'll hold the vehicle until you press the accelerator. Climate control is along here, along the bottom. So you can change the various settings. Uh, heated seats are here. Uh, I'll get back to home here, probably just the Mustang button, maybe. There we go. It goes back to home. So you got your settings in here. Kind of scroll through those. Still kind of getting familiar with this here. Settings, features. There's all your safety, uh, driver safety settings are in there. And if you go into my Mustang, I don't know why it keeps going in the track apps here, but there's the, yeah, your track apps. This is actually kind of nice. You can do different settings for the gauges. You can customize which gauges you want. You can choose your custom mode, make your own profile here. Uh, you can change your colors. Colors don't do much. I think it's just on the screens in the base model. And, uh, oh, sorry, we've got some sun reflecting here. You can change the cluster theme. And here's the famous Fox body one. Uh, and we'll go through some of those. So you can kind of see it over here. Uh, here's the calm one. Track. Sport, normal, or you can just have it drum match the drive mode. And we got our wipers over here again on the right hand side. Turn signals, high beams. And on the left side, here's where you change your modes. It's actually on the steering wheel, and then there's the lane keep assist above it. Cruise control settings are the rest. Here we have volume up, volume down, and the control panels, if you want to switch to the next song, previous song, and the up and down changes the, uh, where it says trip in here, you can cycle through some of these settings here. And you can change the... <laughs> Sorry, that was a... <laughs> that was a Corvette Z06 flying by there. You can change the steering wheel settings there. And another thing that's uh, new is the flat bottom on the steering wheel. And your lighting controls down here. You can also open the trunk, that's moved over there. Door locks, window controls, mirrors are pretty much the same. And what do we got? We got the mirror up here. Lights are a little bit different. You just push them to turn them on and off. And the switch will control whether or not they open with the door. Spot for your sunglasses up here. Apologize if this is out of focus. And the, uh, the visor is pretty much just carry over. And let's just go through some of the modes. I can show you the animation here too, which is kind of cool. So we're in normal mode right now. 
gauge is coming up over here, and then if we go, we can cycle into support. On the left hand side, I think if you have a manual transmission, it shows you the gear, or maybe they're just going to do that in the GT. So the right just shows you the speed. And if you switch into track, you get the uh, revs going across the top of your speed limit, your speed down there. And what do we got next here? Drag strip setting. Similar to the track. Slippery setting. What do we got here? Yeah, that's just the base, basic display. Custom, you can kind of choose what you want. Oh, actually, that's new too. Auto start stop is new. You can turn that off. You don't want that on. And then back to normal. Yeah, backup camera is fantastic. High resolution, bigger screen. And just a quick look at the nighttime view. Everything all lit up here. The big screens. And again, you can kind of cycle through if I can get this to focus here. Sorry about that, guys. Different modes. There you go. Yeah, just a quick look at the car at night. All lit up before we return outside Toronto Pearson Airport. Try not to get run over here. There we go. And take one more look at the sun. Eh? Right, I think that's going to wrap things up, guys. Thanks for watching. And just a quick reminder, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. If you enjoy what you're watching, if you enjoy these car reviews, give the video a quick like. That gives me an idea of what you guys like watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.